Hey guys, what's up? First, let me say I apologize for not putting in my eyelash extensions and putting in enough lip filler today. Those are actually certain, those are actually things I've been asked in the past. I wasn't going to do this video today, but I figured why not? I got a bunch of food from Sonic. I hardly ever eat fast food anymore. Um, and I watch a couple of mukbangs once in a while when I'm fasting. Look at my, look at my burn from today. It's kind of a bit. Um, you can see it on my face too. Um, so I figured why not do one? Uh, got some French toast sticks. I wasn't going to get these. I was going to get a double cheeseburger. But they didn't have double cheeseburgers. I don't know how that, whatever. Um, whatever. Do you, right? Do you, Sonic? I got some tater tots. I love these. I think it's kind of cold right now. So I'm setting this up, but whatever. I haven't seen you guys in so long. So much to talk about. So the reason I did this, the reason I'm eating fast food is because I went on a 36 mile hike. Um, just now, I just got back home. I started at eight last night. And I ended up, I ended this afternoon. The end was kind of slow because my my feet were tore up, and. I haven't ever gone that long, so there's a lot of there's a learning curve when you go that long in one session. Um, I have some really quick 5, 10, 15 mile hikes um, going for me in the past few months, but jumping to 36 was was something else. I uh, the longest I've ever gone on foot for a hike was so eating was 16, 16 and a half miles. I was in high school. I used to run with the New York Road Runners Club for like New York City Marathon training runs because I was part of the club. And those training runs were awesome because there was like 100, 200, 300 people. And it was like so easy. I also got orange juice. It was like so easy to run 15 miles with 100, 200 people. It was like whatever. So you used to do that all the time. I said, guys, like I said, guys, I just got back from the hike. I um, did 36 miles. I ate four bananas, six peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. I wonder if I'm going to get sick of those in the coming weeks. Um, two Cliff Bars and so much water and Gatorade that uh, I could open up a store. Uh, it was it was like ridiculous. I um, Here's a cheeseburger. Am I going to take everything else? Am I going to take everything out? So, well, I guess I'll take it out now to show you guys. Cheeseburger. No, this is the breakfast sandwich and a cheeseburger. I know I got a lot of food, guys. But I did just hike 36 miles in the mountains of Colorado. So, um, yeah, that's it. Oh, got a little Sonic mint. I went to Sonic for the first time in my life last summer on the ride. Um, let me say, guys, like, there were some comments, and I even got an email saying that I failed because I didn't complete the ride last summer. When I moved to Colorado, I weighed a lot. Um, you know, this is a teaser. This is definitely a spoiler. I'm going to be doing, I've been fasting for the past few months. I know you guys don't know anything that's been going on. So I haven't posted because I've been, I guess I've been lazy. I'm not going to say I was busy. People that say they were busy, that's bullshit. I've been lazy. Um, so what was I saying? Like, again, and I wasn't going to do this stream because I am so freaking tired right now. I was like falling asleep in the Jeep on the way home. Um, and it's obviously not good. But oh, so I went to Sonic last last year. Oh, so the ride. Um, I got an email saying it was a failure. When I got to Colorado, I was so heavy. Oh, what I want to say, I'm sorry for these segues. I, like I said, I'm tired. What I want to say about the, um, about the weight. Oh, so I'll be, I'll be, I've been fasting for the past few months a lot. I've been doing two-day two, two day fast, three-day fast, 36-hour fasts. I've lost uh, considerably more weight than I had already lost after the ride last summer and after all my hiking as I got into Colorado. So I will be telling you guys my current weight, and I will be showing you how much I lose each day during the fast. It'll be seven to ten days. If things are going really well, I'll just go as long as I can, but it'll be a minimum of seven days. My longest fast to date is 87 hours, so that's about three and a half days. So I think I can do seven days. I'm not going to do it for a couple of days or even a week because I want to make sure my body gets all the nutrition. I know, right? 
all the nutrition it needs um, after this hike. And I want to do like maybe one or two more rides before I fast. I'm not going to be hiking. I'm not going to be riding while my while I fast. I will be walking like three or four miles a, a night, really slow. I did a, a the 87 hour fast in April, and I walked like three and a half miles every night during that. And that hurt. It didn't hurt, but it was very hard to do because I had no food in my body. Um. So yeah. So the hike. Oh, so, oh, so uh, again, I'm so sorry. I have notes, but I'm still messing up because I'm so tired. I was out hiking from eight last night till this afternoon. Like I said, 36 miles, um, all kinds of craziness. But I wanted to say something about the ride. When I first got here, I was in incredibly bad shape. I was a lazy piece of shit. I came here to fix my life. And the fact that I rode 1,200 miles from Colorado to Missouri without ever having done an overnight bike camping trip. The, I, the furthest I'd ever ridden from my house in New York was 50 miles. 50 miles out, 50 miles back. That's the furthest I'd ever ridden. And this time I rode 1,200 miles. I camped on multiple nights. Um, I got into it with police. I got into it with a couple of rednecks who shot at me. It was a success. I mean, I felt a little bad after when I quit, but there was, there was um, bike issues, something to do with the seat. There was money issues. I had school coming up. I didn't want to overextend myself. I wanted to continue. And the biggest thing was the seat and the, the money issues. The seat was an easy fix. Honestly, that's an excuse. The money was not an easy fix. I had school coming up. I had to pay my tuition. I paid it in full. I did not take out loans. So there's that. Oh, I got to get some syrup out. I got a lot of food. But so muffins are a lot of, about a lot of food. And like when I was thinking about all the food I was going to get, because I just hiked 36 miles and I'm such a badass, I was like, Sonic. And then I was like, oh my God, I'm going to get all this stuff. So I got a little too much, but whatever. Um, I'll burn through it and I will be fasting. I don't binge before my fast. Uh, that's not something I do. But I did just hike 36 miles. So I figured, let's do this. Um, I hope the background's okay. I hope I look okay. I didn't shave. I didn't pretty myself up. Again, I apologize. I'm just joking. Um, all right, let's get it on. So these are really good. I had The only time I've had Sonic was last summer during the ride when I ate a whole bunch of fast food because that was the only option and I still lost like 20 pounds. I lost 20 pounds straight up on the ride over the four weeks. I'm going to show you if you're new here. Yo, what up? My name is Viggo Bowman. I'm from New York. I'm in Colorado right now. Getting in shape and going to school. It's like could become a doctor. And I will be uploading more. Because I'll be doing the fasting series. Or maybe just to like mess with people. I'll do some of my things. And mess with people's heads. Um, I have this brand new channel uh in the works right now it should be coming online not next week because of the fasting and i'll be doing that every day and i also have to do some videos for a company i'm working for another story so the week after and uh, i got the idea in december um but since it's such a big project i was like no screw it i'm in school but then once COVID came around i said to myself why not let's do it for all this time, so I haven't started up, but I have been planning, writing, I'm setting up a home studio. This is not my home studio. I figured I would just eat here. It's more comfortable. It's more natural for me. Um, I hope the lighting's good. I am uh, working on some lighting for the home studio. This is not, the, these are not even the lamps for the home studio. If you're running, this is water. Um, what does it say? Oh, so like the ride, telling you guys about things that I have planned ensures that I do it. Like I was telling you guys that I'm doing the ride, doing the ride, doing the ride. And you know what? Part of the reason I actually did the ride was because I was like, I can't fucking tell the internet I'm doing a bike ride across America and not do it because I had doubts. I wanted to pull out. I said, I want to study chemistry. I want to study biology so I can get straight A's and all this crap. But 
got the right time. So why I'm saying that is um, because on Instagram stories, I give updates sometimes. Follow me there. Don't follow me there. Uh, it's not a big deal. Um, I don't post there all the time. But if you want an update, do um, follow me on Instagram. The one thing I would say to follow me on if you're into hiking, cycling, running, swimming, fitness overall would be to follow me on Strava. You could get all my stats, know exactly what I'm doing each day. I can't bullshit to you guys and be like, oh, I did this because you'll see it on my Strava. I will put that link in the description so you guys can see it. And I'm actually going to show you a Strava window in a little bit about today's hike. So the thing about today's hike was um, I'd never done, this seems like I got more food than I ordered. No, I don't think I did. Um, I did more. Oh, I, let me, I guess I'll do a, hold on. I'm, I'm going to pose for a, um, a screenshot. This looks so goofy. Sonic. Sonic. All right. Sorry if that was creepy, guys. Apologies. Apologies. Um, but I was like, I hope there's salt and pepper in there so I don't have to get up. Um, what was I saying? Oh, so I tell you guys what I'm doing. So like on Instagram, I posted I'm going to go on a 40 to 60 mile hike. I got it done. I got a 36 mile hike done. I'm in the whole 40 to 60. Whenever I go into something, I always shoot above and beyond what I even think is possible for myself. Like 40 to 60 miles is fucking insane right now. But maybe not as insane as I think since I did a 36 mile hike. Last summer, I said I'm riding my bike across America. I didn't get it done. I rode my bike 1,200 miles. But shooting for a higher goal always helps me. Uh, this goes into everything in life. Like I want to get... 99s or 100s in all my classes this semester and guess what I don't get 99s or 100 something in one or two classes I'll get a 99 or 100 um, for the semester but usually I get like between an 89 and a 93 um, and that's really good um, and I'll be successful that way but I shooting higher is always good even with women shoot for 10s get seven or eights shoot for eights you might get fives or sixes I mean do you, whatever. I don't care how that sounds. Just don't care. Um, what was I gonna say? You know, I don't like bash me for using notes. Like I said, my brain is on drugs, off drugs. I mean, I guess I went through so much dopamine tonight on the hike. So much adrenaline with these nutty animals um, howling and marking my area. What I mean by marking my area is if I took a break, like these coyotes would be like, oh shit, look at this motherfucker. Let's get him. And then I'd get up and I'd get be full of adrenaline. And yeah, it was actually good. Thank you, coyotes, because uh, I hiked faster because you guys. Um, if I uh, gloss over something, just ask me in the comments and I will reply or I will just answer your question in the next video. Because there will be a few videos. Um, and the, my channel, I'm not going to drop my channel. I'm going to try to grow it um, with a few different avenues and then just kind of pop it out to my email list um, and everyone I know on this channel and, and stuff like that. I'm going to throw their. I don't know if it's weird. Eating a video up. I've only like eat, like a very small snack on video. We know fake people are like famous for this, so so it's it was very interesting to me. Um so the hike. I've never done a night hike. Hmm. Okay. You guys should just shut the fuck up and eat, right? I'm never doing the night hike. So, I was nervous about that. Because there are wild animals where I live. Especially where I hike. Um, there are 
elk, there are mountain lions, there are rattlesnakes, lots of rattlesnakes. I mean, if you guys watched my videos in the past, so many rattlesnakes. I see so many rattlesnakes, dead rattlesnakes, live rattlesnakes. It's crazy. And people are like, how have you seen so many rattlesnakes? I'm like, I don't know, but you want to see the one I saw yesterday? It's They're after me, the rattlesnakes. Um, what else? There are lynx. L-Y-N-X. Very rare animals. They have them in northeastern United States. They have them in Canada. They used to have them in this area in Colorado through the 70s. They went extinct in this area. They didn't go extinct in the world. They went extinct in this area. They just reintroduced them into the wilderness where I hike. Of course, it's nice. Like a few years back, three or four years ago. So, you know, that gone. There's grizzly bears. Never seen a grizzly bear here. I don't know how plentiful they are. They are. Everyone I talk to that hikes or mountain bikes or skis a lot. Some people will be like, oh, they're all over the woods. They're all over the mountains. Some people will be like, oh, they're zero. So I don't know the deal on that. I will say that the one thing that sucks. Okay, a lot sucks here. Fitness, hiking, cycling, things like that do not suck here. That's why I came here. I came here for school and that, and I keep on straying away not straying away from those things but like letting my mind wander to women um, I think a lot of the reason is there's no women here um, there's two or three girls at school that are worth it school is really small so there's not that much selection going on um, I went on a few dates with one of my professors just as school was ending, there was some weird thing about her being, I'm not going to say her religion, because she's probably the only one in the school, and then I will be singling her out, and I'm not going to single her out on my videos. So I'm sure, I know there's people at the school that watch these videos. So there was something with her religion, something with her parents and the religion, and yeah, it wasn't like there were sparks flying. So all good. Um, well, anyway, I got away from why I came here. School and fitness because I'm thinking about women. There are no women here. Um, even the 22 and 23 year olds have three kids. And I've said that before in video. So I'm not going to get into that. So I was, I've been dating this girl off and on. Um, call her Lauren. I'm also going to not going to say who she is because she actually contacted me through a video. Her friend contacted me through a video and then for her. So the, this could get back to her. So we'll just call her Lauren. Um, so off and on, I've been seeing her. Um, she She's a former Olympic skier. All right. Very cliche. Come to Colorado. Date a former Olympic skier. I... Obviously, would love to have little Olympic babies, uh, and a lot of the reason that I put up with bullshit was because I was like, Olympic babies, Olympic babies, Ooh. and like once in a while, and I'm not getting laid here in Alamosa. I've gotten laid a couple times in Alamosa, but it's been fucking horrible. Like three of the worst five times I've yeah have been, and I think some of that might have to do with the fact that I'm not used to being with another woman besides Blake in bed. And things like that too. So that could be part of it. Um, so anyway, Lauren. I hope I didn't say the name just now. I don't think I did. Her real name. Um, she's kind of flaky. Uh, I've gone to visit her in Denver. And we were supposed to go on a few trips. I invited her to my Columbia trip. And she's like, oh, I don't have any money. But then like, she'll... She'll like fly to um, Atlanta with one of her girlfriends to see a country concert. She's into country. Um, one of the first things she told me was that she went to the, or no, she didn't go to the country concert with the shooting in Vegas. I'm sorry. Her friend did. And that was one of her first conversations because her friend had PTSD and she thought her friend was overblowing the PTSD from going to that concert, but she did not go there. Um, 
So I've been distracted. I just need something like, you know, like something on the side, not serious. But everyone wants to get married here. That's also the thing. There have been some girls here at the school that have been cute and like we've talked. But like, they know that I don't want to get married. I just want to hang out, have fun, relax. Like, what's the big deal? That's what we do in New York before we, you know, really go serious. I was in a car. I don't think I told you this guy's this story. I was in a car with three soccer chicks. We were going to do something. I think we were going to the mountains. Two of them had boyfriends. Three good looking girls. One of them did not. Also a good looking girl. But like she was very quiet. So we weren't really talking. And I didn't actually know if she was actually also single. Uh, not also single, but single at the time. I guess also single as me, but I mean the other girls in the car. So I'm like, I tell the girls, I'm like, hook me up with one of your girls. And I was like, I think I said, what? I always put my foot in my mouth. I don't always put my foot in my mouth. I put my foot in my mouth sometimes. I was like, um, hook me up with one of your girls. Um, and maybe they asked me what you're looking for. And I was like, I'm not looking for, for anything that's serious. Or what did I, say? I said something and they just, their jaws all dropped. It wasn't that crazy. I think I just said I was, wasn't looking for anything that serious, and they all gave me, like, death eyes, and I'm like, holy shit. So, like, I wasn't getting hooked up by th those three chicks. Quite obviously, right? Um, that's really fine. And I will say, look at this, these burns. I got burned in the back of my neck, too. But that's it. I was wearing long sleeves. I was wearing long pants. And, um... If you guys are like, oh, you're nuts, man. You're wearing long sleeves and long pants. Well, first of all, it was fucking freezing last night in the mountains. I hiked all through the night. It got cold. I had a neck warmer, a nice hat. I might show you some pictures in a second. You'll see. But um, it got cold. But I'll, I'll wear pants on hikes in the summer, especially when I'm like hiking through like thickets and things like that. Because uh, there's a lot of thorns and there's also a lot of bugs. So just by wearing pants, I've saved myself from a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of cuts these past couple of years in Colorado. <sighs> so that has been a frustration of mine, the, the girl situation. Um... I get down on myself about it. I'm like, oh, I'm not attractive, or these girls don't like me. That's not fucking true. And I'm not saying like, oh, I'm a model and shit like that. I'm saying, I'm saying this because when I go to another city, when I go to another town, when I go on vacation, I easily talk to girls. I easily get dates. Girls want to get close to me, etc. So it's not me. It's this fucking place. Um, and some of the friends I have here have told me that. They're like, just chill the fuck out. Like, it's this place. So chill. Maybe we'll get into this in another video. Who knows? Um, I will say that what I was going to say about what got into this, and I was like, this place sucks. This place does not suck for fitness. This place has some idiosyncrasies. Uh, when you're going about being some crazed athlete that you have to deal with, um, but they are not breakers. If I had a family, if I had a beautiful, successful girlfriend um, that wanted to live here with me, then I would stay here. Uh, those are not the cases. Neither of those things are the case. Um, so, but this place is amazing for fitness because there's no one on the roads. Or I'm riding my bike. So it's a lot safer than being up in Boulder, being up in Denver, being down in Albuquerque. I bring up these three places because these are three places that I might move for grad school. If I don't go get nuts and just move to Columbia and buy a sailboat, also an option. Not fucking around either. Um, but getting around to why this, this place sometimes has these weird things going on. I live in the desert. 
yes, I live in Colorado. Yes, you see pictures of me amongst pine trees and in mountains at 9 and 10 and 11 and 12,000 feet, but there is no water. I live in a mountainous desert, and there's a term for this. Um, and since my brain isn't working, I can't think of this term. It's not tempered forest. It's not straight desert. I think there's a specific term for this, but maybe, perhaps not. Um, so there's no water. And what that means for a 36 mile hike is I have to carry in all my fucking water. And you like, you're like, well, why don't you look at a map and find water? I have maps. There's big ponds or big lake. No, I'm not going to go crazy and say there's a lake on these maps, but there's ponds, there's streams that are running through. And like, I've looked for them. I've searched, I've gone to these points on these maps. And sometimes it even looks like a stream, but guess what? There's no fucking water. So I have to carry all my water in. So my my shoulders, my back is like, fuck you right now. Cause I carried in carried in like a gallon and a half. Um, and then I had like a half gallon that I carried in only three miles. Cause the plan originally was to, you know what? Should we transition now? No, I'll transition. I'm gonna show you a screen. That's what I mean by transition. Um, the plan was to hike out far come back get some more water hike out far but what happened was i just hiked in dropped off the extra water behind a bush behind a rock whatever no one's gonna come by anyway but i did you know from new york i'm not gonna get into a segue about how i had my running warm-up stolen in central park when i was in high school motherfucking bomb but um but that did not happen last night i just kept on going and it worked out. I found a road trail, a road to a trail, to another trail that I've never been on. And what I was going to say was um, about finding the water. I have been all over these freaking mountains crisscrossing. You'll see like a picture of my map of my hike. And you'll see how I crisscross. Because I'm looking, guess what, for water. Not all the time. Like last night I had water. But a lot of the time I'm looking for water. Um... And I've yet to find it, so I have to hike in with it. And that's a big B. That's a big bitch because that slows me down. So I can't go as fast and I can't go as far. Because last night was like max water carrying capacity without being like, fuck you, I'm going to fall on the ground and pass out. So that's the deal with the water. Sorry, talked about the ride. I talked a little about school. COVID. I'm not going to cry to you about COVID. I know people are having bigger problems than me, but COVID messed me up. A lot of the social things that happened for me are in school. Um, and not only that, but like a lot of people I hang out with go to school here. Um, so school stopped. I still live here. They're gone. No friends. Um, the only other thing I'll say about COVID... And again, I'm not crying, is like 80% of my freaking family got COVID um, because they all work in hospitals and they're mostly in New York. Um, so that sucked. Uh, wear a mask. Only thing I'm going to say, wear a mask. It's not going to kill you. Wear a mask. That's it. I'm not going to say anything about the riots. I'm not going to say anything about anything else about COVID. Just wear a mask. That's all I'm going to say. I have some snazzy masks. If you want one, you know what? Put a comment below. For, you know what? First two people to put a comment, they want a mask, I'll send you a mask. They're really nice. Um, I got them from some lightweight hunt, hunt, hiking company, sent them to me. So whatever. So I guess, oh, so the thing about the, the water and the food is like, I have this small pack on, I'm trying to like go streamlined and it's just my, the bottom of my back and the top of my ass are like really tight. So I like stopped a couple times and I'm like stretching. And I'm still really tight, and that sucked. I am going to get a better pack. I have a bunch of hiking packs. Okay, let's let's clarify. But they're all for, like, tents, sleeping bags, cookware, all this stuff. I just want a small hiking pack that, that form fits to my back. And I'm trying, sometimes I try to be frugal. No, not a lot, actually. But I was like, this pack should work. I put a whole bunch of water 
a whole bunch of peanut butter and jelly, a whole bunch of Cliff Bars, a whole bunch of bananas, um, battery pack. What else did I have in there? Um, knife. No, I had a knife. The knife in my in my pants. But um, yeah. So that slows me down and ensures that I won't be able to go that long. Thirty six miles long, but thirty six miles. At the weight I was at for today, at least was was my limit with what the water and the food I was carrying. I think with the water and food I'm carrying in better shape, I can probably go 45, 50, which is very decent. But it's still gonna weigh down on my pack, my back. So maybe like a little less water in a month or so, and a little less food, I'll be able to do the 36, and it won't feel nearly as bad. And especially if I do have a new hiking pack. Um, So I guess the last thing is the fasting videos while I eat greasy tater tots from Sonic. Um, and today is Monday. Today feels like Sunday because I haven't slept. That's also why I'm like, you know, um, woke up yesterday morning prepped for a lot of the day it's so crazy i haven't hiked since early april and that's the thing i hiked in early april like like 14.9 miles 14.8 miles 14.7 miles something like that and since then i've been taking walks because i was fasting and i've been riding but i've been riding i would say sparingly now i've been riding like 80 to 100 miles a week maybe you don't think that's sparingly but that's not that much for me so that's all i've been doing so i was in this rut so i rode on tuesday and then wednesday was fine. That could, that could be a rest day, but the plan was to ride Thursday and Friday, um, and then the plan was to ride Friday and Saturday when I didn't ride Wednesday, and then the plan was to ride Saturday and Sunday when I didn't ride on Thursday, Wednesday, Thursday. Now that happened, so I was like, I'm in this rut. On Saturday night, I was in this rut of being at home, writing too much, um, being on the computer too much and I was like you gotta go fucking do something you gotta get out of this chair of this chair that I have next to me I have a um oversub chair here it's like you gotta get out of these chairs and you gotta get the fuck out of the house so I ate something and I was gonna go and then it turned into like two or three o'clock so I was still on the net but I'm glad I didn't go because Sunday I realized all this stuff I had to get ready to ensure a successful hike, um, just to make sure, you know, I have all this stuff, I have the right clothes, I have the right amount of clothes, because even that weighs down, and I, I brought, everything was perfect, everything I needed, I had, and I think I used every single thing in my pack, which is a first, which is, oh, sorry, I did not use my emergency sleeping bag, things like this small, never even opened it up, hopefully it works, because, uh, I might need it one day, um, more about the hike. Let's look at let's look at some stuff. Let's look at some stuff. Okay, so this is the hike. This is the thirteenth hike of the year. Um, I went thirty six point zero nine miles. I moved for an moved for sixteen and a half hours, um, and my pace was twenty seven twenty five. Again, things fell off, and I'm not making excuses, but things fell off because of um, the shape I'm in. Uh, my feet. I didn't mention my feet yet. I got a lot of blisters on my freaking feet. A lot of blisters. And I don't want to show my feet in a stream. Maybe I'll show a picture of me putting duct tape on. Because you'll see pictures of a second from the hike. Uh, let's see the map. You'll see what I mean. So this is the map for my hike. This is, this is just the hike I just took. Um, I start here. I end there. So I came this way. There's a lot of trails. There's a lot of trails. If you look at my other hikes, you might see those trails that go out like this. Um, I've been on all those trails. So then I took a left here. I did not know this was the road. This was a road that I've been on. I actually took this road in on my Jeep. I didn't. I was just. I map in my head. Um, I do have maps, but I map. Oh, we're not. I'm sorry. I didn't transition back. So this is this, this is the map. I map in my head. Um, once I'm in a place, city. Uh, forest, someone's basement, I know where I am. So, um, oh, that's right, you cannot see the cursor. I remember that from another video. I believe you cannot see the cursor. So, you could see how meandering this hike was. The longer line that goes into the bottom of the screen, um, 
was was awesome. There was uh, a lot of birds this morning. I woke up. Well, I didn't wake up. I mean, they woke up as I was hiking, and they were singing to me. I didn't have my headphones in for like about an hour and a half of the three hours because the birds were singing to me. They were singing back and forth. I'd like to think they were singing to me. Um, that's one thing I'll say. I do not put my headphones in at night. I do have I put one in. If I hear some crazy shit, I take them both out. If I think, if I feel some crazy shit, I take them both out for, for a long time. Um, but I only hike with one in. Unless I'm in like some, some dirt road where I know nothing's going on. Um, during the day, I'll put both in. I'll dance. I'll listen to a good book. I listened to a lot of music last night. And I was a nerd. And I li listened to the third book of... Hunger Games. I listened to the first two. I've read these books. I've never listened to them. Um, I listened to the first two over the past 10 days. I just started the other one, the third one today. I think I'm like halfway through or third away, probably like a third to halfway through from this hike. I didn't listen to it the whole time. Um, listened to a bunch of music. I was dancing in the middle of nowhere. Um, coyotes probably watching me. Prairie dogs watching me. Let's, let's show you guys some pictures because I'm sorry if I was gross just now. Is I will show you some pictures, and I hope I'm doing these transitions right on OBX. It's a streaming site uh, software. I usually use it for. Um, I've always used it for streaming, but I'm using it just to record my screen today. Um, so let's see. So this was um, from the hike. This is me in like a baklava. Oh, no, that, that wouldn't be a baklava, but this is me like doing like Middle Eastern just to get the sun off me and I still got really burnt on my on my neck. You can see it, I think. Um, that's not because my neck, that's not because I was lazy, but uh, that was early in the morning. I guess I was lazy. I didn't bring suntan lotion, so I didn't bring everything I needed for the hike. So this was like this afternoon, uh, a few miles before the, the hike end. Let's see. Okay, so prairie dogs. This is a picture of a prairie dog hole. Look how freaking big this hole is. And this is like right on the middle of the trail of the road. This is a road that I was on at one point. If I step in that, it's not going to be pretty for my ankles, my weak ankles at that. Um, been weak ankles my whole life um, ever since ice hockey. Okay, some of these. They're all fine pictures, but um, some of them you probably don't want to see. So this snake was dead. Um, so, so many snakes last year on the ride. None of them I filmed because I was always riding by, um, so a bunch of dead rattlesnakes, poor guys, in eastern Colorado on July 5th. On that specific day, I saw a bunch of dead rattlesnakes crushed on the road. Um, and then I have a picture. Oh, I have a video. Where is it? Oh, did it not load? That's so funny. I hope there's no bad picture. I don't think there's bad pictures for today. But... So this is me putting duct tape on my blisters. Like I said, my feet got messed up, yo. Messed up. Um, what is this? Which is this video? Oh, this is a video. What's going on today? It's morning. Around 6 a.m., finally got some light, got a little hairy, some coyotes earlier. As you can see, I'm in the clouds. <laughs> I love it. I haven't spent too much time in real clouds. I'm pretty high right now. Feeling pretty good. Kind of low on fluids, but I think I'll be all right. This is the morning. This is this cool tree I saw. I just found myself under, you know, the like the three trees near Alamosa. No trees here. It's kind of messed up. All right. Oh, so this is last night on the hike. You might goofy self. Okay, so this was like right at the start of the hike, when it was still light. Um, this is what I was wearing. I changed into. Um, right after this, it started raining. Like. 15 minutes after the start of rain, so I put a slicker on. 
Head of Dharma I'm wearing underneath the slicker. When it stopped raining, I changed thermals, hung the other thermal from my bag. Oh, let's see. Let's watch this video. Bit of a wardrobe change. Oh, I'm talking about the changing clothes. Underneath my slicker with the fully side on. Um, started raining. It stopped raining. You can see it's, it's wet here. Uh, it stopped raining now, so I stopped. I'm also going to put some duct tape on my foot. There's a hot spot on my, the ball of my foot. This is the duct tape. See it right here on the pole. Keep it there. It's really efficient. Just keeping it on the pole. It's always there for me. I'm going to put it on a hot spot before that before that gets worse, and I should be okay. That's That's a good tip. Put some duct tape on your hot spots on your feet and you will four cold blisters. So I have another thermal on and I'm putting this uh, final on as well. Thanks for the tip, yo. Anything else? Oh, it's another pair of goggles. That might be the same hole in daytime. That might be the same one. It looks big. Um, what's going on here? So I did hike. Oh, so it rained. So when it rains, that means I can't hike by moonlight. I usually hike at night by moonlight. I know I've never, I said, I've never hiked at night in the wilderness. I've hiked at night in the wilderness. I've never hiked through the night, through the whole night. I usually get back to the deep at 10 and 11. That's pretty much super safe. There have been coyote incidents at those times, but it's not going to be all night. I'm going to go back to the other um, So the moon finally came out. I was hiking by moonlight. I was hiking by starlight. Hiking by starlight so sweet, but I'm alone, so whatever. <laughs> Let's see what this video is. Yeah, I don't really know. Because um, I got home with my poop, and here I am. Currently hiking by moonlight. Oh, there you go. No, you're not going to be able to see these stars. I'm not setting this up. <laughs> we are out here. It's pretty cloudy. As it was raining for a lot of the night. Stopped I know it's black, but it was drizzling for hours and hours after that. Um, six hours. Six hours in. More than six hours in. Six and a half hours in. I have been hiking by moonlight for the past 90 minutes or so. I only use my headlamp. When I go in my pack, this is what the headlamp looks like. And it's dimming out. I bought extra batteries, but it is still dimming out. I lost, well, I left my headlamp in Taco Bell, I think, on the last night of the ride last summer. So, my good. Just starting. I left my headlamp, my good headlamp that I've used, and that's the charger one in Taco Bell. The last lap of the ride in Missouri. I'm yet to be able to replace it. I got a headlamp, uses batteries, it sucks, as you can see. Brand new batteries and it's dim. So I'm looking for another rechargeable lamp. If you guys have a uh, suggestion in the comments. Let's see if there's anything else that's worth it to watch and then I'll talk about the video series that's coming up. Oh. Um. I'm not going to make these into a video. These are just all going to go on Instagram because um, they're all shot for Instagram. They're not shot wide angle, yeah. So there's not enough media. I mean, I guess there's a lot of pictures. But yeah, so great hike, 36 miles. I mean, it really, well, I didn't talk about how much it hurt at the end. I was playing mind games with myself because it was really difficult. My feet were eating up. I was dehydrated. I didn't. I felt like crap. I put in my Strava comment, I'm like, what do you do when you're on a trip and your gas tank goes empty because the way through, which is still got a quarter of your trip left. Well, that's what happened yesterday. And I was hiking so freaking slow. I was like,
I'm not kidding. It was bad. It was it was crappy, but I'm here. I got home. I feel good. I'm eating Sonic. I'm talking to you guys. So as I eat Sonic, I'm eating Sonic. I will tell you guys about the past. I'll start the fast. On day one, I'm going to try on clothes that don't fit. These are not old clothes. And they are fat. And I can't fit them anymore. This is something I've been doing since I moved to Colorado. I'll buy clothes that don't fit. That can't, that will fit if I lose some weight. Do the shape. And then I'll put them on and they're still tight. And then guess what? That makes me want to go out and ride more. That makes me want to go out and hike more. It makes me want to eat less. I have not gained weight over this COVID period. Uh, I said COVID, but that's about it. I was I gained like um I gained like two or three pounds, which is not a lot. And I know that weight fluctuates, but I mean my average was like two or three pounds above. And I'll get into like these averages and stuff like that with the fasting videos. Excuse my hiccups, please. Um so I like was like two or three pounds up and I could feel like that I was like kinda getting a little fat. So I said, What are you doing? So I fasted for like it was like 24 hour, 36 hour fast. Went back down. Got back on the bike. Mm. I want to expand on that until and before I talk about the fasting really quick. So I've been it was in a rut. Just being at home all the time, no socializing with school friends because they're not here. And I didn't ride a lot in April. I rode some, I hiked some, rode some in March, rode, hiked some. I did not ride that much in March, not because of the rut, but because I hurt my, my wrist, my left wrist. When I fell while running down a mountain in Colorado Springs. It's another story. Um, I was racing a girl, another story. Uh, but yeah, so I got in a rut. I was in a rut in April, and then I got back on the bike. And then these last few days, so I, what I say, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, I was in a rut. I was like, I'm gonna do this, I was gonna do that. I was gonna go on a shorter ride. I was gonna go on a shorter ride, and then I was gonna go on like 100k, which is 62 miles on a bike. Um, none of those happened. So on Saturday night, I was like, I gotta do something. Glad I didn't go Saturday, cause well, it wouldn't happen. So yesterday, I was it's so funny to say yesterday, cause it feels like today, cause I haven't slept, cause I went last night. Um, I was just prepping for the hike. Um, water, eating a lot. I ate seven eggs. Uh, let's see if I can find that picture for you guys. I hope I'm doing this right. I hope you're not seeing me on the screen right now. I ate seven eggs. Um, this is a picture of my seven eggs on two tortillas. Lauren. Lauren. Oh, my God. I hate when people do the air quotes. Sorry about that. Um, but it's just funny that I'm calling her Lauren, her name's not Lauren, uh, taught me this egg tortilla thing. If you're an old subscriber, you'll know what I'm talking about. Um, had seven eggs, had toast with jam and butter, um, and then I made those those peanut butter and jelly sandwiches, and I had those four bananas. I think I might have had another one or two. No, I think I had four total yesterday. So yeah, the fasting. Um, so it's going to be seven to ten days, minimum of seven days. Um, what that's going to mean is... I'm not gonna eat any food. No food. The only thing I'm gonna be eat, the only thing I'm gonna be consuming, is water. I am a water maniac. If you guys are an old subscriber, you should know that. Um, let me fill this up right now. I will be drinking coffee with caffeine. Um, I'm not gonna let my brain go while I'm fasting because I still have to work um, on a few things. My new channel, the, the videos I'll be making for the fasting in general, still getting my studio going um, in my other room. And I'll be drinking, did I say herbal tea? Yeah, no, I did not say herbal tea, I don't think so. And I'll be drinking herbal tea and I'll be taking some supplements, which I'll be going over in the fasting video. So let's wait and talk about the supplements then. I hope you guys are happy that I'm back. Again, my name is Vigo Bowman. I am here in Colorado to become not a motherfucker, but the motherfucker. I want to win some races on a bike again. I want to look good. 
I want to be with a woman that I want to be with. I don't want to settle. So I'm not going to say she has to have these things. She might have these certain things, but she's going to be a woman that I want. I want, I want to be like, oh, I want this woman. She's sexy. She's smart. She's funny. I want her. I don't want to settle for her friend or the girl over there sitting in the corner in Barnes and Noble. Barnes and Noble really doesn't exist anymore, but you get my drift. So again, I hope you guys are enjoying. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If this is your first time on the channel. Check out my other videos. You might enjoy them. I will see you guys soon.